welcome back in this video i will discuss what is partitioning and what are the different techniques to perform partitioning in data mining partitioning is an unsupervised technique of converting numerical data into categorical data given a data which is of numerical type in data mining we need to convert that numerical data into categorical data sometimes so in such case we can use partitioning as one of the method here there are different techniques uh, to do uh, partitioning of uh, given data. The first one is uh, equal frequency partitioning. Second one is equal width partitioning. And the third one is clustering based partitioning over here. Now we will discuss uh, each of these particular methods with a simple example. So the first method in this case is uh, equal frequency partitioning here. This equal frequency partitioning is also called as uh, equidepth uh, partitioning in this case. So in uh, equal frequency partitioning, we need to know what is the depth of that partition, particular partition. So let us assume that the depth is equal to 4. So given the data, we need to put 4 uh, data points into one, uh, what you can say that the partition over here. So let us assume that we have been given some data. Uh, once the data is given, the very first thing we need to do is we need to check whether the data is in ascending order or not. If it is in ascending order, there is no problem. Otherwise, we need to sort this particular data into ascending order over here. Now, once you put, do that part, I think uh, based on this particular depth, we need to put the data elements into different uh, parts over here. Right now, depth is equal to 4. So, the first 4 data points are put into one group. Second uh, 4 are into second group and third 4 into the third group over here. So, you will get uh, 3 different uh, partitions in this particular case. Coming back to the second one that is called as equal width partitioning. In equal width partitioning, first we will calculate the width here. The width is equal to max minus min divided by n over here. Max is equal to 215 in this case, you can see here. Min is equal to 5 divided by 3, that is equal to 70 in this case. Now what we do here is, uh, uh, we will take this particular minimum value, that is minimum is 5, 5 plus 70. The meaning of this one is, uh, the up to 75, whatever the data elements are there, all those particular data elements will come and sit into one group. That is what I have written here. That is from 5 to 72 will come and sit into first group. Now greater than 75 plus 70. That is nothing but the width over here. So that is nothing but 145. So greater than 75 up to 145 that will come and sit into second uh, partition. That is in this case only 92. Now 145 plus uh, 70, so more than 175 plus 70, if we add over here, it will become uh, 200 and uh, you can say that uh, uh, 15 if I am not wrong. So up to 255, uh, 15. So these two will come and sit into third partition. I hope you can see here up to 72 is the first one, 92 is only in the second one and these two will be in the third group over here back to the third one uh, that is uh, data partitioning using a uh, clustering method in this case i am going to consider uh, k-means clustering over here if you want to apply k-means clustering on uh, any given data we need to consider uh, the centroids in this case i want to divide this particular data into three groups so i will need to consider three centroids here so randomly i have selected uh, three centroids as uh, c1 is equal to 5 c2 is equal to 60 and c3 is equal to 150 now what is the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to calculate the distance from each of these particular data points to these particular uh, centroids that is uh, c1 is equal to 5 c2 is equal to 60 and so on now how to calculate the distance uh, you can use uh, any uh, distance measures right now i'm going to use uh, euclidean distance uh, euclidean distance i i hope all of you know uh, that is uh, square root of x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square if we have uh, two dimension data in this case we have only one dimension so you can directly calculate it like uh, 5 minus 5 that is equal to 0 here it will be 0 5 minus uh, 10 that will become uh, uh, that square of that part I think is again uh, uh, 5 only over here so only absolute values we will get here so it will be 0 5 here and 6 and so on so we need to calculate those particular distances I hope you can see, see those particular distances here Similarly, we have to calculate the distance from this particular data point to second uh, centroid. We will get this one and uh, we need to calculate it with respect to third centroid also. Now, we need to look at this particular row. Between uh, these three, this zero is the smallest one. So, it will be assigned to C1 here. Between these three, this is the smallest one. So, it will be assigned to C1. When you look at these particular three, uh, 10 is the smallest one. So, this will be assigned to centroid 2 over here and so on. So, that is the next uh, thing we need to do. 
so once you do the assignment it looks something like this one so up to here uh, all the data points belongs to c1 from here to here these particular data points belongs to c2 these two belongs to c3 here now we need to calculate the new centroids using these particular three uh, uh, clusters here so once you calculate it the first centroid will be 10.8 that is the centroid of uh, these particular data points add everything divided by you can say in this case uh, it is uh, 5 over here similarly we have to calculate the centroid of this one and then we need to calculate the centroid of this part i think that is nothing but the average over here so once you calculate these particular new centroids we need to start from these particular new centroids again we need to calculate the distances here so i have calculated the distance over here now if you look at this one uh, the one which is smallest we need to assign the cluster over here uh, after doing this part i think if you notice here previously this particular 35 belongs to uh, c2 now it belongs to c1 over here the meaning is uh, a data point has been moved from one cluster to other cluster again we need to calculate the new centroids here so from here to here it is c1 from here to here it is c2 and this is c3 again once you calculate the centroids you will get these particular new values once you get the new values again we need to calculate the distances here so these will become the new centroids and then we need to calculate the distances here after uh, calculating the distance again we need to assign these particular uh, things over here once you do the assignment in this particular case you can notice here uh, after calculating these particular new centroids again we need to calculate the distances i have calculated those particular distances based on these particular distances we need to assign these data points to one of the clusters over here now if you look at this particular assignment uh, you can see here starting from here to here it is uh, first cluster from here to here it is second cluster and this one is two clusters now uh, you can see here all these particular data points uh, are uh, present in the same cluster in the previous iteration also there is no uh, movement of data points from one cluster to other cluster because there is no movement uh, we have to stop here and these particular data points will come into first cluster and these four will come in the second one and these two will come in the third cluster with the help of you can say that k means clustering uh, for data partitioning over here watching in this video i have discussed what is uh, data partitioning and what are the different uh, data partitioning techniques available in data mining that is uh, equal frequency partitioning equal uh, width partitioning and partitioning based on different clustering techniques also i have discussed uh, how to apply these particular techniques on the given data set with a simple uh, numerical example i hope uh, the concept of uh, data partitioning in uh, data mining is clear if you like this particular video do share this particular video with uh, all your friends subscribe the channel for more videos and press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching